Greetings, programs. This is Wretch, and welcome back to the Sinking City. So, we have gone from dealing with uh, great old ones and phalanges to a supposed immortal Mayan princess. Um, and she currently has the seal, and we need to go ahead and get it back. So, we need to find this alleyway that we saw at the end of the last stream and look for clues as to where this mysterious knife-wielding lady has ran off to. Now, we, we beat her to death with a shovel, and she just disappeared, and we almost went completely insane. And we see some unfortunate things going on right here. That is a... Last time we saw this, it was a... It was one of the Innsmithers. But now, they have the gun. Nice night for it. As you phase through the cross... Okay, whatever. First aid. Oh, we got a lot of really good stuff there. Let's go ahead and check our inventory. Because we definitely need to... Uh... Get ourselves back up to snuff here on our ammo. And our antipsychotics. <laughs> yep. But we didn't do the murdering. asked for you to be here. Where'd you go? Oh, right through the fence? Really? Well, at least the alleyway is clear. And we got a brick. Uh, nothing useful inside. Old clothes and garbage, but this letter may be helpful. This is my final warning. If you don't pay me for the month due, I'll sell all your belongings and you'll be out on the street. No one may live at the Devil's Reef and avoid payment without consequences. Really? He didn't die immediately. These are some savage bites to the neck. He would have suffered. So much suffering. If anyone had caught this shotgun blast, they would have lost their head. Any shotgun rounds? Because that would be most welcome. She didn't spill a single drop of blood. Oh. And we are instantly using our powers. Great fisk, buddy. Hope none of those hungry warm skins saw you here. Got herself a Renfield. Oh, there she is up there. Waiting to strike. Great fisk, buddy. 
Hope none of those hungry warm skins saw you here. Take this, damn cop! Order me. <laughs> Usha attacked three Innsmouthers before a man appeared and tried to shoot her. She called him Raymond and hypnotized him somehow. She put a spell on you. No, no, wait, wait, wait. We have key evidence. We don't have all evidence. We've got a lot of stuff here. Okay. Hill will help me find the entrance to uh, Gethinic. I forgot the pronunciation again. If I track down the undead Mayan priestess guarding its secrets. Some kind of undead Mayan tried to kill Joseph Hill, but was stopped by something. She attacked me and then fled. Oh, okay, sorry. Did that... Wow, that knocked a lot of stuff out of there. Holy crap. So if she was up here... That was the guy who just... <laughs> who got shot. Hmm. Lots of fish. These guys were gonna have a good meal here. Check the bodies. Everything was good there. So what are we missing? Hearing the glow that we need to use our He didn't die immediately. Our sight. These are some savage bites to the neck. He would have suffered. She didn't spill a single drop of blood. Shotgun blast. All his blood was drained. Just like Joseph said. Oh, we just missed him. Okay. That's good. I wanted that XP. Speaking of XP... Getting close to a new knowledge point. A man named Raymond saw Usha's attack and seemed connected to her somehow. He dropped a bag of the scene, inside of which was a letter concerning his overdue rent at the Devil's Reef. Okay. Well, let's head back and see what happens. Other than uh, running into the king, as I keep on calling him, and going back there for checkups on stuff that's happened before, we haven't really had a reason to go back to the Devil's Reef, unless we were doing side quests, which we aren't, so... Be interesting to see what happens here. Where? There we go. I was assume the Devil's Reef is like right next to the water. But we got taken there after we passed out. I keep having to remember. So we'll probably definitely have to fight her as a boss. Because we only had one technical boss fight in this game so far, like with a life bar and everything, and that was, um, that was, um, Shug, or Shug, so. Uh, 
I believe a man named Raymond lives here. How's it your business? I need to talk to him. You'd be better off talking to the wall. Raymond Archer ain't here. Left a few days ago and never came back. Didn't pay either. Damn newcomer. What about his room? Did he leave any belongings behind? A pile of weird stuff and broken junk. Take a look if you want. It's the room next to yours. Oh, ironic. I found a debt letter from you at a crime scene. Can you tell me who it was for? Huh. I have no idea. Why? Do you send that many of them? Yes, thanks to all you damn newcomers flooding Oakmont. I have a form letter that I adapt. Well, make a newcomer adapt for me to pay his debt. Got 50 of them back here right now. Clever, eh? Indeed. Less useful than I'd hoped, though. Useful for him, though. Yeah, see you later. Raymond's dwelling. Okay. So we had a next-door neighbor who was involved in all this. So we got diving equipment. Did Raymond get this air tank from the same place I did? Always with the diving. I've seen some of these places. The backyard with corpses. Joseph Hill's house. Why did he draw all this? Probably was having some really bad visions, especially considering all the alcohol we're seeing here. Third of October. Found work at a flooded lab on Moreland Road between C. Smith Avenue and Powderhouse Street. Boss says some weird stuff, but sounds like there'll be gold at the end. Twentieth of October. Prepared everything for the mission, including getting a diving suit. Good thing I know how to use it, too, because the place is underwater. Boss said the entrance is marked with five big stones. 23rd. Barely got out with the mummy he wanted. And worse, there was no gold in her tomb. Taking the mummy to the lab. My egghead companion claims he can talk to the dead. Hopefully she'll tell him where the gold is. 9th of January. I can't... How is it even possible? How could I know? No sleep. No rest. The mummy. Usha's whispering all the time. Hiding underwater. In her tomb. Spare me. Get out of my head. Good times. Hey, 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 hey. You better stop that. Your sanity was fine. Stop it! Please, stop it! Why do you show me this vile violence? I can't bear it! Okay. Oviedo's interested. There's a lab. Okay, a lot of dead ends right now. They should all head... We will obviously have to head to the lab. Um, Moreland Road between C. Smith Avenue and Powderhouse. Oh, Northern Salvation Harbor. Okay. Do 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 do. Flooded lab. Seath Smith and powder. All right. Looks like we're heading that way. Um, we'll probably head to the fish market and then just head down south from Orchard. Let's check our office while we're here. Nothing new. I was wondering if Vanderberg was going to be in there for another lovely chat, but I don't know if we're going to see him again. I did look snazzy in that yellow suit, but... Eh, okay, let's do... 
Let's do one in the yellow suit. In for a penny, in for a pound. Quite stylish. Looks like a Dick Tracy villain. Oh, no, no, we can delete that. That's fine. I think the only one that we uh, haven't done any cases in is in the tourist costume, which I don't think we're going to utilize. Not high on my list of priorities at all. So I'll go ahead and let you guys know, this is actually the second to last case. So I don't know how quick we're actually going to be doing this. So this actually may be a shorter stream than normal. Because I want to do a full stream dedicated to the last case. I don't know how long the last case is, but... I've kind of enjoyed our one case of stream progress. We'll just play it by ear and see what happens. Eh, let's go all the way to the end. I'm glad I went back to the game too. Now we found a comfortable, comfortable way to play it. I've thoroughly enjoyed what we've been experiencing for the most part. Okay, so we go to the right. I think we may have actually stopped here before and then realized how much of a horrible, horrible mistake we made. The hidden lab. Coil springs and shell casings, thank you. Craft, craft. No gunpowder, unfortunately. Ugh. Someone wounded really wanted to get inside this room. They wanted their gunpowder and alcohol. I mean, who wouldn't? Oh. Um... No... Okay, we got chains. We've got an obvious dead body here. We've got mad science. Uh, I don't think these tools were used for surgery. They appear to be jammed. Whatever happened in this lab, it has nothing to do with normal science. About the Tiganar or God, she won't talk to you. Ah, only the seed may know. Ooh. So she was captured and basically tortured for information. Interesting.
The essential salts of animals may be so prepared and preserved that an ingenious man may have the whole ark of Noah in his own study, and raise the fine shape of an animal out of its ashes at his pleasure. And by the like method from the essential salts of human dust, a philosopher may, without any criminal necromancy, call up the shape of any dead ancestor from the dust wherein his body has been incinerated. Borellus. By the way, guys, that is from The Strange Case of Charles Dexter Ward, which I will be reading. Hello, hello. We're out of shotgun. Uh, no, no, we got, still got some shotgun stuff. Uh -huh. Oh. Okay, here we go. Because we know how to deal with them. So we may need to do a supply run here, guys. Fairly quickly. We are starting to run low. Oh, wow. So, speaking of salts. This guy was a practitioner. Seventh of June, materialization su materialization successful. I had to burn subject with acid to make talk. Who could imagine the entrance was the crypt? Materialization successful. September twelfth, hard to understand the deceased. Dialect is very old, and he knows nothing about stopping madness. Twenty third October, Raymond found the mummy I was after, but she refuses to discuss the city or the madness. Even acid didn't help. 9th of Jan January. This Dane Raymond wants his gold, but she remains silent. Told me I'm not K chosen. We must try harder. Usha may, may wish for death, but as long as I have her essential salts, I can revive her. There'll be no escape from the pain. It looks like it contains ashes mixed with salt. I do not want to know its origin. Okay, was that everything here? But there's this lovely gunpowder and shell casings. Promised we'd be rich, Hill. Go ask her about gold. Not that nonsense about Kathy damn har or seals. Trouble in paradise, it seems. Help me, you bastard! Stop this monstrosity! Let me in! Look, the ceiling circles. Time to figure this out. Well, that's pretty, pretty cut and dry what happened there. You promised we'd be rich, Hill. Go ask her about gold. Not that nonsense about Kathy Dad. Help me, you bastard! Stop this monstrosity! Let me in! Joseph Hill and Raymond tortured Usha to find out how to get inside Katiganar. But she got free and attacked them. Hill fled, leaving Raymond alone with her. And then became her plaything. And we're going into a cinema. Stop! 
She has something to say. Raymond? I was looking for you. We have to talk about the undead Mayan. You don't need to hurt her. She knows what you want. She can offer a deal. Last I heard, you were trying to shoot Usha, but now you're her messenger. Why the about face? She took this body as her vessel. She doesn't want to frighten you. Well, using a man as a puppet is still creepy, Usha. What deal are you talking about? You, Chosen, must descend into the depths, into the shell. She knows the way. I need to enter to stop the madness. If you tell me how to do it, I won't pursue you. Generous. She has another offer. Help her, and she will tell you how to meet your destiny. And what exactly am I supposed to do? Kill Sorcerer. Joseph. He does not let her rest. He will pursue and enslave her once again. You could have just told Joseph what he wanted. What difference would it have made? The sorcerer does not deserve these gifts. He is guided by pride and greed. She waited for the K Chosen to appear, and here you are. Marked, tied up by fate. She sees it in your eyes, wide shut. Why should I kill Joseph? And why do you keep calling him a sorcerer? Because he is. He woke her up, plundered her body, forced her to breathe once more, cut her, pierced her, burned her, kept her in chains. You want revenge. She wants freedom. No freedom while the sorcerer lives. What will you do after you're free? Live. Yeah, I don't know if that's particularly a good idea. If I do what you ask, where will we meet? Among the stone fingers in the Garden of the Dead. Oh, can't you just tell it straight? I've had enough riddles for a lifetime. She believes your mind is not that weak. The cemetery. Huh. So what do you think, guys? Should we go along with the deal? Or should we say, meh? I mean, she is upset for obvious reasons, being bought, brought back from the dead and then tortured and everything like that. But I have a feeling we're probably going to get swerved here fairly quickly. Out of the two, out of the two, she seems to be the man. Didn't listen to him. All right, let's see what happens. After everything I've seen in this laboratory, I'm on your side. She will wait for you. You okay there, buddy? Do you need me to put you out of your misery? I will. Good God. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Stone fingers in the dead. The cemetery near the um um the ot or the place where we saved or where um the crematorium is. Okay, so we've got some op options here. Usha is an insatiable murderess. Usha will help me if I kill Hill. Usha was tortured by Joseph Hill, but told him nothing because he is not a seed. Usha's proposal is a trap. She could wait for me to kill Joseph, then refuse to tell me anything about Katiganar. I could make a deal with Usha to learn the secrets of Katiganar, and she'll only tell them to the seed. Hill revived the dead for answers. Joseph Hill resurrected Usha and others to learn about the madness emanating from Katiganar. 
Hill betrayed Raymond. Hill hired Raymond as a body snatcher to bring him Usha's corpse. But when she got free, Hill abandoned Ray with it, which is true. Joseph Hill can get me inside Katiganar. We share the same goal, stopping the madness spreading. Hill is just using me to deal with Usha, just like he used Raymond. He is not a man who can be trusted. I think that is... Oh, there's an option. It doesn't matter with whom I have a deal. Both Usha and Joseph are dangerous to Oakmont and its people. The best thing I can do to get the information any way I can, then kill them both. Thank you, game, for giving me that option. Huh. Gotta clean up the trash. Yeah. Uh, 50, oh, it's 1,500 for our level up now. Well, boo. Hides in her tomb beneath the finger-shaped stones. So we need to go to Reed Heights South. Uh, yeah, if we keep on heading forward, we'll find a quick travel. Ah! Sunday driver. My boat! You maniacs. So where are we near? Near the train yard. I wonder if there's anywhere where... We could grab some loot. Can someone do me a favor? Go up, or look up Sinking City, like, places to farm materials. Because I think that'll help. Oh, this was, okay. Well, well then. I take it back. That trip wasn't really necessary. We'll have to see what happens. Well, it's 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 things like we'll just we'll restore the natural order of things and make sure that Usha goes back to the suite hereafter and Hill we probably need to go ahead and take him down because he'll just resurrect something else on wholesome and get right back to it. So it's just good to Oh, is it one of those things that you just basically find a place that has items and then save the game and then load and just go back in and keep on grabbing it? Because we have noticed that before. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I don't know if that's necessarily what I want to do, but... Hello there, Innsmouth man. Good day to you, kind sir. 
I hope the angels will be more merciful to you than they were with me. Oh, poor me. Did something happen? Some Danes robbed the graves in the cemetery. If, if I don't find the body soon, city council will find out. But, but I have no idea where to start. I'll be fired, I know it. And it's the only job I'm fit for. That's what my mama said. I can help you. I'm quite experienced at finding people. Alive. Usually. Oh, thank the angels, kind sir. I'll, I'll repay you. I will. You'll find the three robbed graves in the cemetery. I marked them. And you don't need to muck up your suit lugging bodies round, sir. I can do that. Just find all three and tell me where they are. Please. <laughs> I like that. Where are the vending machines and benches? Okay, we are here. We're just looking around. Just seeing what's what. During the exhum uh, exhumation of a mage, you need to protect yourself. Use the following signs and incantation to submerge the magician's mind into a deep astral dream. There's a library stamp at the bottom of the page. Oakmont Library, closed section, European literature, 19th century. These sure weren't ordinary grave robbers. Ooh. Unknown. Died in 1812. Alicio Palumbo, Fire and Blood. Targaryen? These are probably like Kickstarter backers. I would assume. So let's not worry about that too much. I do want to go into this building because maybe there'll be something we can loot. Is that a guillotine? Oh. Nope, just a bell. Oh man. Got me all hopeful. My beloved Virginia, I'm fulfilling your final wish. You'll rest in your own house forever. Forgive me, for I was not brave enough to declare my love to you while you were among the living. I will atone for my mistake. Very neat. Someone spent a lot of time opening it. Virginia Cooper, 1887 to... Hmm. Another victim of the Flood. An honorable citizen. We may want to go ahead and do this little side quest. Oh, that's a corpse. All these bites are fresh. Ah, poor guy. His death wasn't fast. Ah, yeah, yeah. running out of options here, friends. We are officially out of all of our ammo except for the rifle.
Give me things? Okay, you've given me things. Thank you, kind gravestone. I don't know... You want me to go that way? Oh, follow the blood trail? Okay, I will here in a second, but that actually wasn't where I was wanting to go. I think I'm just gonna throw stuff into the rifle and the submachine gun. Really? Oh, that's terrifying. Okay, well. We know where we need to go. Yeah, I'm not fond about it either, but it is what it is. But that's pretty much the where her tomb is. Become the diving suit. Well, if all we have to deal with are phalanges and those critters that we saw, I think I'll be in good shape. Scratches are fresh. Looks broken from the inside out. Did you raise a ghoul? Coffin was barely covered with dirt. A grave digger could do a better job. Key evidence collected. Is there something I forgot? Ah, I was hoping that was going to lead to loot. Yeah, definitely the blood trail. Yeah. Would take us right where we needed to go. It's back to the crematorium. Is there anything that we missed here? We had the flowers, we had this. There was... The original body that was over here that we found. Ow. These sure weren't ordinary grave robbers. And we had the book. Huh. Bodies. Coffin. Virginia Cooper. Oh, so someone took her out and, like, buried her somewhere else. Gotcha. 
So it looks like one of them was pretty much fine. So we'd have to look for Virginia Cooper and... Oakmont Library. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about it. Let's just go. Right, he He's fine. He'll be fine. Chapel was it? Oh, it was right up here, huh? I'm wondering if the guy, if those spirits would actually point me in that direction. From where we were. Let's go. Let's see. Where are you guys at? Or did you disappear because I went to the right location? Yeah, I bet that's it. Okie dokie. I still have no idea how to fight Usha. I might be losing my mind, but I'm not crazy enough to go in unprepared. Oh. All right. Her tomb. Oh, we got to go talk to Joseph again. I'm a genius. I completely spaced that. But we can go like straight to her tomb, which is good. Yeah. Let's go. And where was Joseph hanging out? Somewhere nice. And hopefully with a lot of uh, materials. Lumbert Street. Ah, okay. We're good. We still don't have a fast travel point near his place for whatever reason. Also, his apologies, guys. My... Upload speed has gone slow. Hopefully it'll kick back up here soon. And if my internet crashes for whatever reason, I will just keep on playing so we don't lose anything for the YouTube recording. So just hang tight with me. You know, I wonder if we could find items in the militia headquarters. Have I tried punching the internet? No, I haven't considered that. Perhaps I should. Shell casings and gunpowder. 
I mean, at the end of the day, that's all you need, right? I did want to come in here anyway and see what was going on. Can we even talk to any quote-unquote militia members? Uh, apparently not. <laughs> Kingdom for a vendor? No, it doesn't work like that. That would be nice, but I don't think we're going to get that kind of luck. So we'll see what we can do about getting some items here from the house. anymore. Get ourselves back up to full. Mm-hmm. What? 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 I didn't say that you guys could respawn. No. Bad monsters. <laughs> Bad. Stop it. You know, I've got enough cordite that I could probably max out our grenades now. Yoink. I don't want to fire any bullets. I'm running. Okay, you guys just sit down there and sound gooey. Ow! I will beat you down. I warned you. Well, that happened. Every little bit helps. Every bullet. I need an explanation, Joseph. No? Uh, what did you want to know? I know you had a deal with Raymond, the man who brought you the mummy. What happened to him? Nothing he didn't deserve. This newcomer. He was only interested in treasure. It's his fault who chase after us now. He's her toy now. Possessed and tormented. But it was you who let this happen. Me? I did not free her! And for Kay's sake, why should I risk everything to save an imbecile? My mission is of far greater importance. I am the Senate. I found the laboratory, Joseph. The one used to raise dead from the ashes and salt. So then you understand why I need Usha's body. She knows what we both need, the way inside Kotegan are. You revived the dead, then tortured them. That's an abomination. Do not rush to judgment, Reed. They had their time. Would you truly value one old life over the suffering of millions? They're not even human. Those specters, monstrosities, they are just the vessels of their former knowledge. You 
can't compare them to the living. You tormented Usha to get the knowledge you were after. Why? She refused to tell me what I needed. I was trying to find another way, but until the spell was found, I used more mundane methods. Yeah, you did. Pouring acid on her? It was stubborn. No longer human. I was forced to try everything. Every time I recreated her, she told me I didn't deserve the knowledge. Usha made me a proposal. She's willing to help me get inside Katiganor. What? Surely not. It must be a trap. You didn't even ask me what she wanted in return. I fear I know already. She wants me dead. Dane, she's using you, Reed. She knows I'm the only one who can stop her. I have already prepared the Ungwent to prevent her resurrection. Please, can't we just finish this as planned? Hmm. But now I'm... Let's just go with this for right now. Sorry, Joseph. I don't want to deal with either of you. But Usha is the one who knows what I need. Not you. Nothing personal. You're doing us all. I won't let you do this. He doesn't deserve a bullet. He gets a shovel. Still salty. These Mayan artifacts could be the prized jewel in many a museum collection. Okay. I can't carry any more alcohol. That's a shame. Ooh, ba -ba -ba -ba. So. Oh, we have the ointment. Good. It's supposed to prevent the undead from healing their wounds. Good. Good. Did we... Ah. Who the heck are you, dude? Oh. Our buddy from earlier. Yes, yeah, so let's load the gun read. Oh. You did well. She is pleased. Enter her home and she will tell you the secret of the depths. To the depths. Where will I find you? Didn't she tell you? About the stone fingers in the garden where the dead men live on? She thought you'd understand. I do. Ah, oh, can't you be more specific? I found it. Read. Garden for the dead. It, is that a cemetery or crypt? See? You did have it. Seems like a lot of running around when we're already talking. The vessel through which she talks would hear what he does not deserve. She would prefer not to kill him. Okay, then. I'm on my way. Okay. Is there anything still... Okay, it's just one of the little guys. Come here. I give up. Yeah. Is there anywhere else to loot here? Nope. Looks like the best place to loot was just like those two locations and then that's that. Oh, my head. I can't. Where 
Where am I? It will actually free him once we take out Usha. All right, back down south. So what I may do, guys, is before the final case, just not uh, go ahead and just go farming. Because the load time, the save times and the load times are kind of ridiculous. Um, depending on what you're doing, so just get ourselves full up on all the weapons and everything before we get to the last case. How's that sound? I'll do it off camera so we don't have to have it on record. Ah! Hi. How are you? Sounds goo. Looks like the net's back to normal. We've been having we've been having brownouts because of all the immense heat we've had over here in West Texas, so it does not surprise me if the internet stutters a little bit. And off we go. And here's a good chance that those coffins have been refreshed. So let's go find those coffins and raid them before we go find the diving suit. Hopefully the, those guys don't respawn. It won't surprise me if they do. Gonna be that guy? Nope. Alright. Can't carry anymore. Can't carry anymore. It's just springs and ammo shells. Well, dang. We'll see what happens. So I guess this is like the shelf. This was actually a very quick case. Follow the lights. This seems more like a mini game than anything. You guys know? Oh, lordy. So, Raymond was not the only visitor of this sunken tomb. Just one of the lucky ones. Ouchies. Man, it's hard to figure out, like, what's what. Ugh. Okay, we're running. We're running. We're running away from the big tentacle tentacled monstrosity. They are in the dark, dark depths. It is. It is very much just a minigame. It's not that that's a bad thing. It's just how it is. Statue. There's no trace of seaweed on it.
Oh, that's disconcerting. Hello there, smiley face. Glowing in the dark. That is a... Oh, lord. Okay, well, where do we go? Ay -oh. No! Okay, we'll have to check the, the, the ancient tomb a little bit later. We're running. Ow. So that happened. <laughs> I wanted to go up and see if there was anything that we could... Well, we haven't been able to loot anything underwater. But we saw what looks like a Mayan temple. Not exactly something you would expect off the coast of Massachusetts. Either that or my North American and South American history are very, very askew. Okay. Oh, there's another one. That's nice. It's like a... We have got eight machine gun rounds, submachine gun rounds, and eight battle rifle rounds, guys. Um, let's go ahead and save our game. Nope. Joseph is dead. I fulfilled my part of the deal. Now, it's your turn. What's marked, man? Ask and she will answer. Stop the cycle like the cab before you. Like the ancestors. What lies beneath this city? Tell me about the ruins. A temple. A prison. A cradle of old gay. A dark pit speaking with many voices. She never knew. Only a name. Kitikonar. How do you know this? She asked the dead. The dead who came before. And they asked their dead like you ask her now. This is the cycle. Okay, she sounded familiar and I couldn't put my finger on it. She reminds me of Devora from Mortal Kombat. Similar voice style. Yeah, she has an elongated skull. Kind of like, uh... Yeah. Tell me how I can enter the temple. You must find a sacred seal. The key to the monoliths. You and it know each other. It will obey. You mean this one? Yes, yes, fate is kind. Now listen well. You have seen the great stone in the city center? This is the gate to Shivalba. How can I stop the madness that seeps from below? What waits for me down there? You will find out when it is time. Her marked man descended, and the Katiganar slept. Follow his path. Do as he did. And did he return? No. You say there were others before me. Who were they? Marked men and women and things that went before. This place is old, but it still stands. Why do you call me Marked? You bear the touch of old Kay. You see more, feel more, and are even more inside. How do I open the gate in the monolith? You must search for a hollow. Craving to accept the seal. And that's it? No. The seal is incomplete. You must gather three gay fingers growing on the three monoliths and unite them with the seal. So I've got to find pieces of three monoliths. Can you at least tell me where they are? She doesn't know. 
But every cycle, the fire servants gather near these special places. Find them. They will have the answer. Fire servants, huh? I just need to find the fire worshippers, then gather the three K fingers to complete the seal. I suppose it could be worse. She wishes you the wisdom to choose what must be chosen. But leave now. She must rest. So... Part of me doesn't want to kill her. She's fulfilled her side of the bargain pretty well, all things considered. What do you guys think? I know she's just going to keep eating people, but what doesn't eat people in the city? <laughs> But she need, does need blood in order to survive, don't we? She's basically a Mayan vampire. Talaque. Moon Yen would let her live. I'll tell you what, I'll let you guys go ahead and choose. I don't really have a... I don't have a dog in this fight. I feel kind of bad for her, because despite the fact that she needs blood to survive, um, she didn't ask to be resurrected. And she was resurrected and tortured, and she's helping us, and now we're going to put her down. You know what I mean? There's a... There's a, there's a particular... Ugh, about this. Okay, go ahead and give me your vote, guys. Live or die. I'll count them up. Kath says die. Munyan says live. Another kill. Alrighty. I'm seeing kills take the majority. Let's see what happens. Looks like you might need some help finding peace. Allow me to oblige. Her new life is terrible, but death is worse. As you will now discover, Dane. Oh, Lord. Where is she? Where is she? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, she is all over the shop. Yeah. Oh. We plinked her. Do little three round bursts. Okay, we are out of our yeah. Ow. Oh, okay, hold on. Rifle. Of course. Did you just heal? Hold up. Dude, I am so sorry. There you go. Ooh, got her! Thank you, Rifle. Now let's, uh... Anything else we can grab here? Uh, 
Oh, sorry guys. And we got a knowledge point. <laughs> you do know yeah, it's true. The slow type during the murder hotel. We got some stuff too. We did get the not we have two knowledge points here. Interesting. Smart packing. I would say Ten percent chance, ten percent chance, I don't really care about that. Sapper charge. I'm gonna go smart crafting and ammo efficiency. And we're almost close to getting another one. Hey, two hands. How you doing, friend? And back to our rifle. That rifle's definitely paid dividends. Did we... is that cultist... did that cultist despawn? Wait a minute. Okay, I thought that these may have been like endless boxes of... of ammo help. I was like, oh, that's... that's awesome. Looks like we can't go up there and check anything either. That's a shame. Well, we did what needed done. I am the seed, and thus can enter Katiganar. Into the depths. Oh. It's the last case, guys. Now I have everything I need. The seal and the knowledge of how to enter Katiganar. I fear that there may be no coming back from what comes next, so it's time to put all my affairs in order. When I'm ready, I'll return to my room in the Devil's Reef Hotel to rest and prepare for Katiganar. Well, first, let's go ahead and get out of here. Case of the Bends. Oh, how it hurts so bad. Now, are we going straight to the Devil's Reef? What we may do for the rest of the stream, guys, is just farm gear. We just need to find some good locations for it. Did anyone find any um, good locations when they were looking that stuff up? What about the hospital? Did the hospital have stuff? Well, actually, all right, Vito, you have a good one. The best place is uh, hills that I've noticed. So let's let's see if hills is still rateable. We'll just go. T we won't go down to the basement and cause the monsters to spawn. We'll just do the. Uh, the two places to loot ammo. Or no, there's there's one in his room as well. I was like, I would at least like maximum Tommy gun. Tommy gun and rifle ammo. I don't know what we'll be fighting. shall see. That has not rendered. There you go.
Well, the thing about it is, is I'm not sure. Is it a, is it a load game, save game kind of thing? Or is it just I can fast travel back and forth to a location? Snazzy. Yeah, he's wearing his king in yellow garb. We're going to go back to his classic backpack look for the last case, I think. I did hear that about the game that a lot of people did appreciate. Like, man, finally, someone who carries a backpack to represent all the garbage someone carries during these games. DM'd me. Okay. Does it just tell me where the... Where some good locations are? Got some more shell casings and gunpowder. Oh, it's really short? Okay. Cool. We'll check, we'll see what's going on here, if we can do this with Hill, and then I'll look that up real quick. Will it even let us in? Yes, it will. Okay. Now that Hill is dead. I mean, it makes sense. We can go into, uh... Oh, the box is gone. Well, that's unfortunate. There was a thing that you, we could loot. Yeah, they've taken it out. So you have quick locations for um, missions, and that's pretty much the end of that. Also, we we freed that guy from being um, her plaything, so that's good. Okay, easy restock. Oh, that's it? Okay. And you can travel. I wish it would just say where some of the uh, locations are. See what we can do here. Whoa. Hey, Nerd Stash, writing with a party of five. How you guys doing? Welcome. Hope everything's good in your worlds. Where are you guys playing? How'd it go? Not too bad. We're on. We're about to. St we're gonna be. We finished the the pre-ultimate um, case here. We got the last case to go. So I'm spending the rest of the time during this stream to stock up on supplies. Rich man's apartment across from the theater. Yeah, it's a pretty solid game. They were really ambitious with it, considering their crew. It's from the same. It's from Progware, um, Ireland, the same group that made the Sherlock Holmes games, like Devil's Daughter and Crimes and Punishment. Um, they tried to go open world. Oh, you can actually see the sun moving in the shadows. That's cool. But. Um, some areas you can see they went a little too ambitious, and then some is just awesome. Uh, the church in the center of Salvation Harbor. Oh, that's a good one, too. That is a very good one. 
church had a ton of stuff in it. So if we head down to Salvation Harbor, go to the church, raid that, and then we could probably just find another location and go from there. <laughs> Taking a break from DBD. Um, I really only play DBD with um, Ashley and Attack Turkey and all them on Saturday nights now. That's that's pretty much the only time I play. Still have a really good time though, but I think that's the thing because I've limited it. It's all about quality over quantity, and we do drinking games and all kinds of good stuff. What's uh, DBD? Dead by Daylight. Is it uh, Noizuma? Is that how you pronounce your name? I'm horrible at that, so I try my best to... <laughs> sure. <laughs> or just Noah. Yeah, Dead by Daylight is fun. Like I said, I, I... Not that impressed with the Silent Hill expansion. I love the level, but Pyramid Head is just... Not that big. Thank you. Um, we're going to be doing this our 6K milestone um, promise here by the end of this month. I'm doing a full read-through of The Strange Case of Charles Dexter Ward, which is my favorite Lovecraft. True. Thank you very much for that follow. But, uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Let's see if we get any monsters here in the church. I don't care about monsters. Okay, got alcohol. Hmm. Is there anything up here or was it in the basement? I think it was in the basement where all the good stuff was. By the way, guys, I'll be doing that stream at night sometime this month, and the story runs about five and a half, six hours. So it should be should be a good time. Okay, and then there's the secret snack chamber down there, which we don't need to go to anymore. This locker. At least get a little bit of stuff. <laughs> For one bullet. Yaza. Those monsters will just pop up. Oh, uh, let's see. Sinking city. I've been doing okay, true. How about yourself? Best way for looting. Yeah, that's gonna eat. That's definitely gonna eat up more ammo. That's that's the problem. Okay, I'm looking at. Okay. There's a loca okay, I think we found a I think we found a spot. And it's actually relatively close well, it's not close by. It is right here. Okay. So let's head to the university. See what trouble we can get into over there. Apparently, there's a scavenger spot nearby. Extra, extra. 
all the news could fit the print. And that is, and it's a it's a former crime scene, and maybe the fact that it's a former crime scene is going to help us in terms of loot. We're doing some experimentation here, guys. Beto should appreciate that. A little bit of science experimentation. So we go all the way to Vinland Avenue. All these yeah, it would definitely qualify as weird science. That's 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 the theme. Experimentation gone wild. And cultists. Can't forget the cultists. Hello, cultist. I wish you could just shoot the cultists and get loot. That would be nice. Getting this nice yellow suit completely soaked. Okay. So this is. Oops. Well, I. You see the guy like shoot the gun and then toss it off to the side. It's it's weird because sometimes the mechanics of the game don't really fit. The world that's been established, if that makes any sense. Oh, did you start streaming now, True? Awesome. Wish you a lot of luck, friend. Okay. I was told that this is a good spot. I wasn't told, but this is what I saw. Yoink. Maybe. Is it still good? Oh, yeah. Now, last thing I want to do, though, is wake up any monsters, so... And looks like there's two in the hallways. Cool. So we don't have to check anything else. Just go around here. Oh, nope. Not to the basement. Basement bad. Basement very bad. How about that? That's going to get us in good shape. This is probably what I'll do off camera. Yes, basements nine times out of ten. That is what, that is what goes down. Okay, so where do you go for your... Second round, then, dude. You went there, right? You're right across from that spot. Are you just resetting the same spot over and over again? Yes, you are. Okay. Cool. And if we go into any of the rooms, we're going to invite disaster, so let's not do that.
I'm curious though, if we go ahead and save. And let's just load that right now. And we'll see what it does. That seems to hit all the buttons that we need. And that way we'll have a full rundown of shotgun ammo, um, Tommy gun ammo. The rifle's already good up. I don't know what we're going to be facing, but considering the fact we're going into a city called Katiganar, probably nothing good. Hopefully it's not just the same monsters over and over. Maybe a boss fight. Maybe some new stuff. It reminds me when you attack the Deep One City in dark corners of the Earth, they start throwing stuff at you that you didn't see through the rest of the game. <laughs> like, I remember the orifices that just spat out Deep Ones. And that was kind of freaky the first time you saw it. But we actually haven't... That, that's the fascinating thing to me about this game, is the big... Other than um, Shug and um, the Mayan Priestess, nine-tenths of the bad guys have just been... Um, what was they they call them wild beasts they they don't there's no deep ones all the insmithers are just people which is interesting to me where are we okay so it's going to drop us off i was hoping it was going to drop us off over here but not the case we got to turn around take the boat there is a building on fire that's unfortunate for them And is that a... Yeah, it's a danger zone. How do you set up points to enable them? Um, if you go to your... Uh... Take the shovel into the danger zone? No. If you go to creator dashboard... It's ra it's a lot easier to do it on... On... Uh, on... PC, by the way. You go to that, and then you go into Community, and you'll see channel points at the bottom of that drop-down. Oh, that doesn't seem safe. A neon sign on. Yeah, you're on laptop, you should be fine then. Wanna start wanna memorize this path. Oh, am I going through? Oh, 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 things are happening. Hi, how are you? Run! Run with what the king in yellow gave you. Ah! Yep, yep, yep. He's completely mad. Going up, going up. All right. I saw you run for your life. I saw you. The Crown Theater. Oh, that basement might have something. Are you kidding me? Even the freaking trash cans have been taken. Nonsense. And there you go. Yeet. you push the drop down it only says roles manager activity and follows your list maybe you need a certain amount of um oh i think the channel points are just for affiliates true i think you have to get affiliate first before you can do the channel points
how are we doing on everything else? We are slowly grabbing other ammo too, like shotgun shell, um, the pistol. We're getting plenty of alcohol and stuff, so we're gonna be good in terms of like we haven't even used a Molotov cocktail. How do you do that? Um, you have to have 50 followers, stream a certain amount of times over the course of a month, and maintain a certain count of people watching. You need a thousand views to be an affiliate? Uh, no, it's like, it's, there's a three-step process to it, two hands. I think we may, um, that might be YouTube, because YouTube requires a thousand subs. That's creepier to me than anything. It's just someone just walking like that down the street. Instead of power walking or anything. Maybe we can go raid the university basement and then save and load the game again and it'll drop us... Well, it doesn't matter. It's like we're going to have to take a walk one way or the other. Find something you like. Cheaper than the rest. Yeah, I know. Don't, don't tease me with being a vendor and then offering me nothing I actually need. It's not nice. We got stuff, right? Or is it? Did they get rid of this too? I think they did. Well, boo. That may have been a model for one of the talking NPCs. And just hide the stuff. We have seen multiple characters with the same, uh, the same look to them. So that would definitely make sense. Extra, extra. All the news that's fit to print. Buy a paper, mister. The other thing is, like, we haven't ran into Anna or the EOD for the rest of the game. They're just kind of there. You're so close to your goal before Shadowlands. You have two characters left to get to 120. Yeah, I'm breaking. I'm breaking some of my viewers' hearts on YouTube because I will not be playing Shadowlands. I don't think. Ah, eh, let's head in here. What could go wrong? It's loading, so I may have made a mistake. Looks interesting. Nice and quiet. Oh, he found another spot. Good, good. The second we hear a monster spawning, we are running for our lives. There's a lot of firewood. Okay, we heard Gooey. Time to go. They're figuring... I don't know if we even had the option to kill her. Now, I do know that this game has a DLC pack. I'm not exactly sure what that entails, but... Who knows? So, I think... Yeah, we'll travel to Shells West... We'll head back and everything should be respawned and good to go. And for those of you who are watching the YouTube playthrough of this, I'm, I know we normally would go right into plot stuff, but you've seen that the second that we're out of ammo, we, you know, we've just got our mighty shovel and it's not as effective as Gordon Freeman's uh, crowbar. So we gotta, we gotta, we gotta stock up. All right, Drew, you have a good one.
Yeah, it wouldn't make sense for uh, Swindle Gear to go to Shadowlands. I said it before, it's like, you know, everyone's like, we gotta go to the Shadowlands and fight all this stuff off, and all Swindle Gear would be like, hey, hey, no one, uh, <laughs> no one watching the coffers. The only thing that I may do is if I find out that there's some sort of goblin storyline that deals with Gallowix, I might bring Swindle back just for that, th those quest lines. Just like a little postscript kind of thing. Oh man, they got the goo right off the bat here. Holy crap. Okay, time to go. Thank you. See ya. <laughs> Ooh, a treasure chest. <laughs> Loot and run. So we'll go until the normal end of our stream, guys, and then I will go ahead and probably do this tomorrow and um, get all of our everything up to max. And we should just have, I think, one more stream of this, and then that'll be the end of the Sinking City playthrough. I'm really glad to get, uh, like Kath said, I'm, I'm glad I returned to this too. I'm glad to get this off my ledger because I hate leaving things unfinished for the most part. And uh, the fact that we kind of just left this because I wasn't really digging it when we first played. I, I wasn't in the right mentality. I didn't have the right equipment for it, in my opinion. And now that we're good, we've been able to give this thing its proper due. Yeah, skipping the side quests was definitely the right call. Cordites can't carry any more springs. That's all right. We're not really using those for much. I keep on automatically wanting to go to the basement. It's a horrible habit to have, especially if you play DBD. Mm. Look at that. Good. Some more shell casings. We just need gunpowder. Um, excuse me? They're like, we're getting tired of you. <laughs> just like, we'll get him this time, guys. Let's go. But now I'm kind of wondering if there's any other buildings along the way that we could enter going back and forth from the university. We just have to look for the runes. And I think they really did that to increase the, the replayability of it with all the side quests and stuff. And I see what they were going for. I do. And that may be something that I would do in my own time, but not on stream. <laughs> Why I had all those little <laughs> right beasts just. I'll get you next time, Gadget. Next time. <laughs> 
So we got about a little less than 10 minutes to go, guys. Maybe 5. 5 to 10. After that, we will go ahead and raid another channel and send some good vibes over. So please stay tuned to that. You're going to get yourself some uh, grid coins, which are always a good thing. And thank you again to Nerdstash for the raid today. Now the question will be, the next stream of this will be on Tuesday, what will we be streaming on Thursday? You're almost halfway to 20k? That's awesome, Moonyan. It's a good feeling, apparently. <laughs> I still wonder if there's a... Sherlock Holmes like secret here on Baker Street like there's a 221 okay, can't carry no springs alcohol molotovs all right uh, good stuff good stuff I do hope that the last bit of this is not just a, there's still some investigation, and not just a kill everything in sight. Because that's the thing with Lovecraft, I've seen some games where it, it does kind of divulge at the end, and Dark Corner of the Earth is guilty of that once you get the light lightning cannon, it is satisfying though, when you can uh, just start shooting your way through situations, when you spend most of the game trying to avoid. Right around this corner, right? Nope, 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 nope. I always overcorrect. Can we go into any of these places? Nope. Well, there are some times where you can't you can't sneak by, and I think one of the game franchises that really did that justice was some of the Metal Gear games have just the right balance of stealth and shooting. And you can, based on your gaming style, you can go stealth for nine tenths of the game or um, do the other. Is there any gunpowder in there? I didn't see it. Oh, yes. Never mind. We're gonna have full... Chicago typewriter is gonna be in good hands, guys. It looks like we didn't wake the neighbors up, either. Right, you better you better dissolve into the ground. <laughs> All right, so let's um, let's look this over. We are about to have a full set for the submachine gun. Rifle is still in good shape. Then we just need eight bullets for the shotgun. Um, 11 for the revolver, and that should be fairly easy. Cool. <laughs> Can't let anyone see me without my makeup on. Good deal. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera, and when we begin the next stream, we should have a full complement of am ammunition 
and no excuses, and we will see what dangers await us in Katiganar and see how the game ends. But I do want to thank you guys very much for watching, especially this last bit where we've just been doing some farming. And I think we did make the right call with the priestess. I think uh, taking her down was probably a good thing for the citizenry at large, if anything. So, um, you've got another key? Okay, just send it to me on uh, Discord or on the Twitch uh, chat, Two Hands, and thank you so much. I'd love to be able to add more. Is it a key with two dragon heads that leads to a mystical chest? Maybe. But um, if you guys haven't followed the Twitch channel, please do so. I try and stream on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays um, with random times in between. And if you're watching the replay of this on YouTube, I have a link to the Twitch channel in the description below, as well as a link to my Extra Life donation page where I'm raising money for my local Children's Miracle Network hospital via the amazing Extra Life charity. So please look at that if you feel so inclined. Like, share, subscribe. You guys know the drill there. And we will see you next time. Later days, everyone.